Ladies, we need to have a talk. Hi friends, it's Tess, this is Wander Wealthy, and today I want to have a mano a mano, lady to lady chat about money. I fully recognize that I'm still in my pajamas. Fun fact, I actually bought this shirt to wear out in public, not as pajamas, so I feel like I am just setting trends around here. So this weekend, I was doing what most people do who look like they have a really exciting and fascinating life, but in fact, they're sitting at home watching Breaking Bad in their cozies, eating dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's a little too much and aimlessly and mindlessly scrolling through Facebook. So that's what I was doing this weekend and I happened to stumble on a thread from a Facebook group that I'm a part of that has over tens of thousands of women in it in their 20s and 30s my kind of group. And I saw this thread from a random girl who posted, hey ladies, let's share our age, relationship status, and how much cash money we have saved. And to me, I was like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. But not much to my surprise, there were several women who were mortified by the question. But to my surprise, there were hundreds of women who were actually answering the question. And this got me thinking, we need to start talking about money. The reaction that I saw from this thread was all parts empowerment, all parts educational, informative, and to me, just screamed girl power. But some people did take this as a competitive comparison game. They felt alienated or offended for being asked to share their numbers. But let me tell you, there were women that were sharing how much debt they had instead of savings. There were women that said, I only have $50 in my savings account. There were also women who said, between my husband and I, we have over $250,000 saved. Now, I don't know in what form or you know what situations these people come from, and I do think it's important to recognize that we all come from very different financial backgrounds, from being very fortunate to very challenged, so we will have different financial makeup and stories. I also wanna say that there is no measuring stick that we should be measuring ourselves up against. However, I do think it is so important to have these money conversations, to see where other people are at, how other people are struggling, and how other people are thriving. Because to be honest, this is the reality that we live in. You might see people who drive fancy cars and then you find out that they're in debt. Conversely, you might see people who have a very low paying job but happen to be able to save a ton of money. We all work with money differently and we all come from different money mindsets and money stories. And having the open dialogue dialogue is really what is going to help empower us and educate us. So what did I do in seeing this shocking appearance of this thread? Well, first of all, I was giddy with excitement. I was giddy to read that women were sharing all their different ages, varying from in their teenage years to in their 50s, sharing their different relationship statuses, and then sharing their different financial situations. And I understood the women that felt that this was such a private matter, that felt conflicted or offended for this question, but I also felt a little bit disappointed. Here's why. We need to start becoming educated, becoming empowered, and becoming inspired about our money situation. Whether it's learning what your peers are making, whether it's in your field or differently from a salary standpoint, or figuring out how much money you really should have saved in your savings account. It's about becoming comfortable with having these money conversations because they shouldn't be taboo. When we are the gender that is making on average 75 cents to the dollar of our male counterparts, we need to start talking about money. We need to start making progress. We do need to become educated on how how we can make more, how we can save more, and how we build ourselves a better and brighter financial future. As women, we are living longer than men too, so we need to be able to pay for those extended years into our old age to take care of ourselves. So becoming empowered, becoming educated, and supporting each other on our financial journeys is way more important than feeling alienated or like we need to have a measuring stick up to our peers. Why do I bring this up? I'm not really sure other than 
content that I know it's important and we need to talk about it. And what did I do when I saw this thread? Well, I gladly responded. I'm Tess, I'm 26, legally single, and I have just over $20,000 saved in my savings account. Now, of course, being a financial coach, I went a step further and said, I earmark this money for my emergency savings. Being self-employed, it's important that I have at least nine months of my regular living expenses accounted for. I also earmark some of this money for my travel goals because I love traveling and I make that a priority and I try to pre-save for this. And lastly, because I'm in my late 20s, I know that I'm going to have a ton of friends getting married in the next years. And so it's important that I pre-save for their weddings to make it a priority so that I can attend. I then went on to talk about why we all need to feel empowered to talk about money, that we shouldn't feel offended or feel competitive when it comes to sharing this information. I just hope that me sharing my savings amount is educational to those who are reading it or encouraging or inspiring to those who are in debt and working their way out. I want others to know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that if we equip ourselves with the proper education and learning tools, we can get there too. I understand that this might be a totally controversial video and I'm fine with that too because we need to start talking about money and as weird and taboo and offensive it might be for people who are watching this, that's because our society and our world has made it uncomfortable. They don't want you talking about your salary. Some credit card companies don't necessarily want you to be able to pay off that credit card balance. Some banks do want you to save because they can make money off of your money. The world isn't necessarily a fair place and society isn't necessarily pushing for us to succeed, so we need to do it ourselves. We need to equip ourselves with the proper knowledge. We need to feel empowered and supported by our female community and our male community. And we need to start talking about money. So if you get anything from this little Tess rant, aside from the fact that I wear pajamas as regular clothes, then I just want you to get that talking about money needs to become more of a comfortable conversation that we have. If you're not quite comfortable having the conversation with people you know, then maybe consider a community where you don't know everyone. Feel free to come join our conversation in the Wander Wealthy private Facebook community. It's a safe place where we encourage each other to go after our goals with money, with personal development, and with travel. So come to wanderwealthy.com slash FB to grab your invite and get in on our community that is here to support you. I post exclusive content into that group on a weekly basis, and it's a safe place where you are invited to talk about money. Before I go, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to this conversation and opening yourself up to at least hear me talk about it with you. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. It really supports my channel and lets me know that you want to continue the money conversation. If something feels like it's holding you back, I want to know what that is. Leave a comment in this comment section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified when I upload new videos on a weekly basis. Until I see you in the community or in the next video. I hope you wander wealthy. Cheers. I'm glad we got that over with. It's out there. It's said. We did it.